While the rest of the economy bleeds from a lack of care and attention, the Trudeau administration somehow found approximately $3.5 billion to spend on feminism in the world. Really, there isn't any day that goes by without the average Canadian hearing about the blunders committed by Trudeau and his cabinet. His latest piece of rubbish has gotten the Auditor General saying that the outcome of the billions spent on feminism is unknown. In other words, Karen Hogan, the Auditor General, might think that a huge chunk of taxpayers' money has been wasted on something that, I dare say, was created to fill Trudeau's coffers rather than to really help spread gender equality. In one of her latest reports, the Auditor General said that Global Affairs Canada had not been properly tracking the outcome of approximately $3.5 billion spent on projects to advance gender equality abroad. In her statement, she said, It is imperative that Global Affairs Canada act immediately to improve its information management practices and reporting on results to show parliamentarians and Canadians the value of Canada's bilateral international assistance to support women and girls in low- and middle-income countries. Please watch this. We found significant weaknesses in the department's information practices. This included not having a standardized approach for storing, managing, and using project information. In addition, the department has not set itself up to track long-term outcomes. So while it is able to show, for example, that money has been spent to provide nutritious meals, it does not know whether long-term health outcomes have improved for the people who were supposed to receive those meals. These weaknesses make it impossible for Global Affairs Canada to accurately track and report on the outcomes of funded projects against the goals set out in Canada's Feminist International Assistance Policy. These weaknesses are not new. They were flagged in a departmental internal audit in 2021. Well, what we found here was actually uh, that the department uh, was unable to show us how the money invested actually was improving the lives of women and girls. Um, and uh, I would chalk it up to two, two big things. Uh, the first being um, significant weaknesses in their information management systems, right from how you store data, gather it, share it, and use it for decision-making purposes. In fact, it took several months for us to gain access to the information that we had requested. Um, that just tells me that people aren't using it for day-to-day -day inf information and decision making. Uh, the second thing I would point out is that the department hadn't set itself up to look at long-term indicators um, of progress. Uh, they had 26 indicators in their policy, but all of them sort of tracked um, activities. Uh, so for example, uh, they, we looked at a project where the government funded um, making schools more welcoming for girls and building washrooms and hand washing stations for girls in schools. While they could tell us how many washrooms had been built, they couldn't tell us whether or not girls' attendance at school was maintained or increased. So that focus on outcomes, while difficult, is really what's needed when it comes to international assistance. I'm just thinking out loud at this point, how is it that such a huge sum of taxpayers' money was left unmonitored, such that the Auditor General has no idea about its outcome? What's the guarantee that that money hasn't been siphoned? Because with what has happened, all indications point to that. So the statement says that Global Affairs Canada should improve its information management practice and reporting, and unfortunately, that's the high point in the statement from Hogan. Global Affairs Canada wasn't really charged to present the results of the $3.5 billion of taxpayers' money spent on that project. If I didn't know better, I would have simply accepted that there were lapses in the operations of Global Affairs Canada, but then we are dealing with an administration that is neck deep in corruption and scandals. What are the odds that the money hasn't been diverted and all traces burnt and destroyed? The Office of the Auditor General looked into the department's Feminist International Assistance Policy, which was launched in 2017 and applied to all its foreign aid programs. It found that 24 of the 26 indicators created by the department to monitor progress against policy goals did not measure outcomes. Do you see what we are dealing with here? This means that only two indicators from the entire 26 measure outcomes, and all that Hogan can say is that Global Affairs Canada should improve on their information management practices and reporting. The report from the Auditor General also notes the difficulty of obtaining documents on the projects from the department, something that was raised in a previous audit in 2021. The Auditor General said that in some instances there are no standardized procedures for storing and maintaining project information. In others, key information is kept on the personal computer drives of employees who have since moved on. In the event that GAC provided full information on projects, the Auditor General found that progress reports could not be readily found. So I can say here that GAC was hiding something from the Auditor General, 
and when they were pressured to release important information, the department released rubbish. Helgen also found the department only met one of three spending commitments outlined in its feminist policy. She said, This makes it impossible for the department to accurately account for the outcomes of funded projects. People, this is no longer a question of whether or not that money was utilized for its rightful purposes because from the video so far you can make your conclusion. Now the question is who gets punished for this gross misappropriation of funds. $3.5 billion is a big deal, and this is money that would have served some other department or sector of the economy effectively, so concrete answers need to be given. At a press conference in Ottawa on March 27, International Development Minister Harjit Sajjan said he absolutely agrees his department must improve its administrative processes in reference to the report. He said, improving our reporting is imperative for transparency, accountability, and also for decision-making. You can see that they are all saying the same thing and no one is actually talking about the billions. I can't even say they were forgetful of the situation because $3.5 billion is too large a sum to ignore. While recognizing the need for improvement, Sajjan defended the results delivered by GAC by noting he had seen firsthand some of the funded projects. He said, this means we are supporting girls to stay in school and reducing barriers for women to work. How are we supposed to believe these words coming from a liberal MP heading the department responsible for the people's $3.5 billion? He said that he had seen firsthand some of the funded projects. Well, can these funded projects be made available to be seen by the public as well? Or can authentic documents about these funded projects be provided? That's if the liberals don't doctor such documents. Because on one side, the Auditor General says that the department only fulfill a single spending commitment while the International Development Minister is talking of funded projects, a plural. Conservative MP and critic for International Development Garnett Jenis says Hogan's report shows that liberals are not serious about delivering on their gender equality promises. He also criticized Sajjan for agreeing with the report's findings, yet providing his accounts as a gauge of success. Jenna said, it's a pure guess what the impact is because the Auditor General has shown that the government isn't measuring the results. I dare say that this is a clear case of money laundering. A pointer to this is the dissimilarities and confusion in the reports from the Auditor General and the International Development Minister. The Liberals have probably used the issue of gender equality as an excuse to siphon public funds. Now, I believe in gender equality and all, but spending approximately $3.5 billion to push gender equality abroad is beyond me. Canada cannot afford to spend such an amount on that when more pressing needs require that money. And if this government were economically savvy, it would have brainstormed cost-effective ways to push gender equality via the Department of Global Affairs Canada. And that's if this government was really interested in pushing it globally. The money has to be accounted for and Canadians need to know how their hard-earned money has been spent. If the concerned parties cannot provide the information, they and whoever else is involved should be punished accordingly. Canadians cannot have their rights trampled on. What are your thoughts on GAC's inability to account for the billions of dollars put in its hands? Do you agree that the money has been used for unintended purposes? Please leave your opinions in the comments section below. We would love to know what they are. We have a Telegram group where we can discuss issues of national concern without fear of censorship. The link to the group is in the description. We would love to have you. We would appreciate it if you leave us a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you are new or haven't yet, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on our next big news on happenings in Canada. Thanks for watching, and I will see you at the next one.